Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the Command 66 Day Challenge 2.0, Day 61. Marty Miller from Houston, Texas, on a bright and sunshiny Friday afternoon, here to do kind of a second step in the DocuSign training within Command. So, hopefully, all of you have previously watched the How to Connect Your DocuSign Account within the settings. And I know some of you are still struggling to get through that, and hopefully, we'll get that taken care of here for everybody pretty soon. And yet, I wanted to talk kind of about the next step. So we're going to go into opportunities. And obviously, the DocuSign training will be continued uh, throughout the next couple of weeks. And yet, getting into one of our test opportunities, if I click on Documents and I click on Go to Transaction, what I wanted to show you today was the ability to start filling in at least all of your details. You may not have the ability to add documents quite yet, and yet I do believe that everybody should have the ability to view the details. And a lot of this is auto-populated. A lot more of this will be auto-populated in the future. You can click on Edit, and then you see all of the blank boxes here start opening up so you can actually input data from there. So I actually already came in and put in this address. I could put in the names of the sellers. Kind of all of the contacts is on the right and all of the terms and other information here is on the left. So on the right hand side, you can see we have seller one and seller two. We have listing agent, possibly listing agent two if there is one. You've got buyer one, buyer two as well. Uh, buyer's agent, you can see I've already put in that information, buyer agent two. And then in the middle section is kind of the transactional information, if you will. So the room, the information about the actual room, uh, location, offer details, um, if there's any bidding information here, closing details, additional information, and property details. The more you can input into this page, the more that has the possibility of being auto-populated when you start adding in your documents. So you could do that right now if you already know that you're working through a transaction and you just want to test, you know, kind of the details portion of it. Get in here, go to the transaction, put in this information, and then when we start diving into how to get documents into your rooms, then we can kind of show you how all of this information populates. So this is the first step I would say in any transaction that you're doing is you want to start off with the details portion and get all of that information included. That's pretty much it for today, guys. Day 61 of the Command 66 Day Challenge 2.0, learning more about DotLoop, its integration in KW Command, and how to enter the details of your room or current opportunity slash transaction. I hope everyone has a fantastic holiday weekend and enjoys themselves. And as always, I will look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Thanks so much for your time. Bye-bye.